I've got a knocking on the headset of my Boardman ADV. And today, with the help of a buddy, we're going to try and fix it. Just to speed things along, we're going to remove the cap and loosen the uh, star nut underneath there. Is this not, it's not too bad up there, is it? No, the bearings. Oh, it's all sealed in, as you see say. The bearings. So all you've got is movement on this to that, because it that that is not tight enough up against that. Okay. Your top cap's acting on that. Yeah. But I think you might need to put a spacer on top of that to space this up, or because you trim these down. You know they trim these. Yeah, I've seen people down. cut them. Yeah. I think this needs to be like not greasy at all because it's got a grip that just sits inside oh, okay. that. I'm quite pleasantly surprised that it's not all falling apart. Oh, see if you, that bearing, I, that feels fine to me. If you give it a rotate. Oh yeah, so it's, it's got plenty of movement there. Just get some of that muck out. I don't really want to touch the bearing too much because. I'll take all of the grease, but just get that muck out from around the side of it. That all looks clean as you just Oh expect. yeah, that is really good, so isn't it? So you can tell stuff's been getting in there, can't you? And obviously it's nearer the road wheel. Now I'm wondering, it might be though that we, you have to cut five mil off this or add another spacer on top. I don't like cutting things because you can't, you can't <laughs> uncut yeah, no, them. Because at the moment I don't think you've got enough compression. I don't think there's enough space for it to well, can't you just remove a, remove a spacer? No, you, your, I reckon your top cap it's clashing with that yeah so you're not getting any any more compression because it's the top caps just hitting that and all you're doing is tightening the top cap onto that and then when you put your stack of spacers up and your handlebar oh see it doesn't make any difference really. no it's, what is the length of that something you can mark it with that's about the length of that screw there's only a tiny tiny gap if you haven't got your spacers over that say yeah. you're not compressing down on anything are you Personally, I, I think you're probably going to have to get... So, what, what do you need, a hacksaw? I, it's carbon, isn't it? I, what would you cut it with? Yeah, I don't know, or you add another spacer on the top. If you, do you know what I mean for another bike? I'm more interested... Oh! <laughs> that's money, isn't it? <laughs> Clean all the excess grease off of that. Let's give it a... You just don't know we're taking that apart because you're going to be riding it. It will prove the theory though if we take it off this bike. Yeah, but you want to go on a ride on that, mate. Yeah, but we c well can't we if, I don't if know it if works? It's the same size either. It looks. If it works, I'll ride the gravel bike. I mean, we could take that top one off, presuming that, that this is the same. Yeah, I think. It'll, I mean, that one alone, I think, will prove the theory anyway. What's that for? Is that for tight lock cassettes? Oh. It's uh, bottom brackets. Oh, bottom brackets. That's for cassettes. No, that's a chain bit for holding the cassette. That's yeah, it's multi-use. It's a pedal spanner. I think that's for adjusting the um, when you adjust your um, cranks, and then obviously the chain whip for that. But that's for your cassettes. And it's not. It's just spinning because have you got that? Yeah, I got it. Yeah. yeah. Wasn't enough friction. That's what he was explaining. Oh, that's when you give it a little bit before you put it yeah. in. Yeah. That's, eight, that's your eight newton means. That's all it needs. It doesn't need much in, does it? No, it doesn't, does it? Right, so we've got that. Does that go around the other way? Look? I don't know. Um, yeah, yeah I think that's it right. But that, that cable's going like that. Were know. they coming the other side before? Yeah. Did you have two cables coming on one side? And... I think so, yeah. yeah well, that's, we can take that off and redo that. This is what I did. I put it around the wrong way, remember? What, you put the handlebars or the wheel? The wheel. It was you like put, oh, you backwards. put the wheel. Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> Easily done. Who knew? <laughs> <laughs> like to see you try and ride it. Been a great review. No, I did. I, I spotted it because I'm quite mechanically minded. Yeah, I can tell. See what happened when you were cranking on that too tight. That plug's moved up. See? Ah. Yeah. What we're doing then is pulling the plug out of that. Almost got too much space. <laughs> There's no play in that at exactly. all. Exactly. It's just gone. That's what I mean, so. That's really good, isn't it? I'm impressed. Well, at least you can use that now. Yeah, well, I was going to use it anyway, to be fair. So, with the addition of just one more spacer, we managed to resolve the issue of my headset creaking and knocking. So, thanks for watching, and please put in the comments if you've had similar experiences, particularly if you own a boardman.